a prisoner named Croc is in being taken by police officers to a prison using a car. On the way, the car being ridden by the two police officers was hit by a car from the side. It turned out to be the work of Croc's accomplice to free Croc from the prison. From that effort, Croc along with his accomplice named Sadie and Frank managed to escape. Then the scene shows a girl named Mary. She is swimming with her mother named Emma. Emma's husband named John is a doctor at a hospital. The family appears to spend their holiday at a lake. They stay in a house not far from the lake they are visiting. The house is owned by Emma and her family. They often visit and spend their holidays there. Mary, who hasn't been to the lake for a long time, is nostalgic for the atmosphere of the lake. Then she visits the lake and swims in it. After that, Sue, who has not seen her friend Peggy for a long time, asks her parents for permission to meet her friend. Here, Emma hesitated to allow Mary to go because she was very concerned about the safety of her 17-year-old daughter. However, her father John gives her permission. Mary then set out to meet her friend using her father's car. Unlike Mary who has a naive character, Peggy is very mischievous. She was proven that Peggy is a teenager who often smokes. She also invited Mary to try it the night after. But Mary refused. The conversation between the two girls seemed to be overheard by a teenager named Justin, and Mary became aware of Justin's presence. The three of them then went to Justin's house to get the haram stuff. When Peggy went into the house to get the haram stuff, Mary who wanted to call her parents lost her signal and it seemed that there will be a storm that hit the area tonight. A moment later, Mary's mother called her. She ordered Mary to go home immediately because there will be a storm soon. Mary asked her mother for permission to stay with Peggy and would go home tomorrow morning. Actually, her mother forbade her. However, because the signal was very bad at that time, their conversation was cut off. With that finish, Mary continued to have fun with her new friend. Peggy, who was not comfortable with Justin's style, ordered him to take off the hoodie he was wearing and replace it with his uncle's shirt that was in the room. While they were busy fixing Justin's appearance, someone entered Justin's house, who was none other than Croc and his accomplice. It turns out that Justin is Croc's son and Frank is his uncle. Unfortunately, the three of them are now fugitive and the news has spread everywhere. Croc, who doesn't want his whereabouts known to the police, is forced to take both girls away with him using merry cars. There was some resistance from the two girls. Peggy, who didn't want to be taken by the fugitive, rebelled and tried to escape. Unfortunately, her efforts were in vain. She was caught by Frank and her cell phone was destroyed. Croc and his accomplice left for a hiding place taking the two unlucky girls with them. It seems that Croc does not yet know the road he will take. Mary, who already know the road they are currently on, purposely lied to Croc to follow her instruction. Unknowingly, they are currently heading to Mary's parent home by the lake. Seeing the opportunity to escape, Mary rebelled and escaped. The commotion they caused caused Croc to lose focus and the car he was driving skidded and hit a tree. Frank's nose was broken in the accident making him very angry at the two girls. Here, Peggy escaped after helping Mary escape from Sadie's rage. Sadly, her action resulted in her being caught by Sadie and brought to Cork, who stabbed the girls to death. Mary, who initially refused to follow Croc's commands, was touched by Croc. Soon after, it rained and unfortunately, they came to Mary's parents' house to take shelter and claimed that they had an accident. John who was a doctor, helped Frank to treat his broken nose. Here, Emma tried to contact Mary but didn't get a response because Mary's phone was dead. Meanwhile, John suggested that they stay overnight since the weather outside was still rainy. Emma was hesitant at first, but because they had a guest house, she allowed Croc and the others to stay. When Justin went to the kitchen to put his glass down, he accidentally saw a photo of Mary displayed on the fridge door. This made Justin very shocked. At the same time, Emma came and said that it was her daughter. Justin, who was essentially a good child, placed Mary's necklace next to the glass he had brought from. Then, Emma showed the guest house that would be the place for Croc and others to stay. 
when John was about to close the door, he heard knocking from the side of the house. It turned out to be Mary who had survived and looked terrible. John then took her inside and provided first aid to save her life. Emma, who was taking alcohol to stop the bleeding from her daughter, accidentally saw the necklace that Mary had placed by Justin. Seeing this, Emma realized that the person who had harmed her daughter was Croc. Emma then told her husband John that Croc was the perpetrator. Meanwhile, John himself also saw signs that his daughter had been touched. Realizing this, John was very angry. He then planned to seek revenge for his daughter. But before that, he had to hide Mary first. He needed a speedboat to take Mary to the hospital later. Unfortunately, the speedboat key was not at the house and was probably in a warehouse. He quickly searched for the key. Unfortunately, when John was outside, Frank, who has called, entered the house and encountered Emma to ask for a warm ring. Emma, who was frightened, tried to cover up her fear with a small talk with Frank. Frank, who thought that Emma was attracted to him, thought that Emma was ordering him to do something improper. Emma, who realized Frank intended to do something to her, avoided him. As Frank was headed to the living room, he suddenly saw Mary's presence there. Suddenly, Emma came and swung a bottle at his head. There was a struggle and Frank was even stabbed by Emma with a knife. Fortunately, when Emma was cornered, John came and delivered some pawns to Frank. John and Emma eventually managed to kill Frank. Not satisfied with that, John and Emma went to the cabin. They were greeted by Justin who had brought a pistol belonging to Croc. When John grabbed the gun, the sound of the pistol woke City up and John immediately aimed at her neck, causing the sound to waken Croc. Meanwhile, John, who had successfully broken down the door, was able to kill Sadie after Emma shot directly at Sadie's head. John rushed back to his house and followed Croc. Meanwhile, Emma searched for the speedboat key to take Mary to the hospital. John, who was in the house, had difficulty finding Croc who was hiding on the upper floor. He dared to go up and find Croc. Unfortunately, through the window, Croc saw Emma with Mary at the leg's edge and it's possible that Croc will follow them. Not wanting this to happen, John rushed to open the door and saw that the window was open. John thought that Croc had actually followed Emma through the window. But in reality, Croc was right next to him and ready to attack John. The back and forth attack took place. Meanwhile, Justin followed Emma and seemed to ask for the gun she had. Back to John, he appeared to struggle against Croc alone. With all the strength he had left, he fought Croc. But because Croc was a gangster who was used to fighting, John lost and almost killed by Croc. Fortunately, Justin came and pointed a pistol at Croc. Croc couldn't believe his son would dare to do that to him until Justin actually pulled the trigger from the pistol, which turned out to be empty. Croc was angry and attacked the helpless Justin. A few moments later, Emma came with a nitrogen tank and attacked Croc with the tank. And in the end, with John's help, Croc was overpowered. With this, revenge for Croc's treatment and others was avenged. Then they were finally able to take Mary to the hospital using the speedboat. At the end of the film, Croc, who had been unconscious for a long time, woke up. John had made him paralyzed and unable to move his body at all. John made it clear to Croc that he would never be able to walk again and that his gangster life was over. The film ended with John and Emma leaving the cabin, sailing away on the speedboat. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and see you on the next video.